In a few years, more people will own rechargeable electric vehicles. The EV's battery could supply part of the driver's home in case of a power failure, serving as an environmentally friendly source of power. That's the idea behind vehicle-to-home power exchange, or V2H. A power utility could also, for instance, ask EV owners to feed energy into the grid to help it get through the winter peak, those few hours each year when electricity demand is at its highest. That's known as vehicle-to-grid power exchange, or V2G. No electric cars currently on the market are capable of V2G or V2H. But Hydro-Quebec is preparing for the future by testing both concepts. For the experiment, a first in Quebec or anywhere in Canada, we've converted one of the gas-powered vehicles in our fleet to an all-electric vehicle, in partnership with the Quebec government and some local businesses. The heart of any electric vehicle is the battery. Hydro-Quebec's Research Institute enjoys a worldwide reputation for developing new battery materials that are safe, efficient and affordable. We've given our car a lithium iron phosphate battery, which uses an avant-garde chemistry that we market under license around the world. Hydro-Quebec's Research Institute asked B3CG to design the battery pack, its management system and the onboard bi-directional charger that handles two-way transfers of electricity between the vehicle and the grid. This achievement demonstrates that Quebec has all the know-how needed to play a leading role in the development of electric vehicles and smart grids. The vehicle has a motive motor system designed by TM4, a Hydro-Quebec subsidiary. Our strength is developing and commercializing electric drivetrains for all types of vehicles. The permanent magnet motor has an external rotor topology that results in maximum torque density. Our expertise in power electronics was also put to good use. Hydro-Quebec's Research Institute designed a bi-directional 240-volt charging station. It's the smart interface between the car, the grid and the driver. Of course, the driver always controls the battery level by programming instructions allowing the battery to discharge or not. The driver sets the minimum charge to be maintained at all times, based on travel needs. In V2H mode, the station detects any power cut and checks whether the driver has allowed the battery to be used as a backup power supply. Up to 7,000 watts can be delivered to baseboard heaters, lights, even a TV. Based on the data appearing on the charging station screen, the household can adjust its consumption to maintain power as long as possible. In V2G mode, a command sent by the power utility over a secure cell phone connection triggers the injection of energy from the EV to the grid, if the driver has allowed it. What's great about using an electric vehicle is that it's very quiet. When you drive an electric vehicle, there really isn't any noise. And not having to go to a gas station anymore is just wonderful. What I liked about the V2GV2H project is that I was able to use cutting-edge technology. The bi-directional charging station is really easy to use. I can use it to charge my electric vehicle and also to supply my home if there is a power outage. I can also accept or refuse requests from Hydro-Quebec to feed energy back onto the grid. So the vehicle becomes a sort of generator that's silent and runs on clean energy. When the vehicle supplies my home, it makes it possible to run certain devices such as the fridge to keep food cold, the microwave, lights, the heating system as well as our computer or laptop so that we can communicate. When the vehicle is connected to the grid, it's totally transparent for the user with no impact on the home's electricity. We can decide whether to accept or refuse a request from Hydro-Quebec. Twice during the pilot project, I refused requests from Hydro because I needed to use my vehicle, so I needed the battery to be charged. Soon after the end of the pilot project, we had already returned the vehicle and there was an outage. My kids piped up, too bad we don't have the car to supply the house. I can't wait for this system to be available to everyone. 
V2G and V2H have the potential to increase the value of electric vehicles in the eyes of future drivers. They could also help make power grids more reliable. That's why this project puts Hydro-Quebec on the leading edge in this field.